We've got to bring up the news this week that ESPN has cut ties with Bill Simmons. ESPN fired him Friday after he appeared on the Dan Patrick Show and said some choice words about NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. ESPN acted swiftly and decidedly on this, but it was a long time coming, no? It was a long time coming. I mean, uh, Bill had been sort of doing this tit for tat back and forth with ESPN management. He, in particular, is not thrilled with uh, Roger Goodell, and he has made those views known. Mm -hmm. And I think it finally got to the point where the ESPN executive has said, you know, enough is enough. We're going to have to go ahead and cut ties with you. And we feel like we can do that now because Grantland, which is which is the uh, uh, the online mm -hmm. uh, long form magazine that he Simmons helped he found, helped found has now taken taken off yeah. and they can they felt like they can do well on their own without him. And now that's the direction they're going. Yeah, I mean, I suspect that to a certain extent, and there's an, an article that you posted in our links blog that goes into this in more detail. I suspect, again, that the parting of the ways had as much to do with the sense by ESPN management that Simmons had just gotten too big for his britches and demanded control and made people in the Bristol, Connecticut headquarters, the sort of the, the working stiffs of ESPN, a little bit upset by the way he was heavy handed and what he wanted to have said about Grant Land or how he wanted to be given the freedom to call Goodell a liar or lacking testicular form fortitude or whatever he just felt like saying you said it not me got to the point where they just decided <laughs> you know as, as Ernest said not only Grant Land but 30 for 30 their documentary mm -hmm. series that Simmons was involved with could stand on their own so why not let him go yeah